Welcome back guys to another episode of Solar Advice where we like to keep energy solutions simplified. Today I'm really excited to bring you a video on energy storage options, specifically solar batteries and how you can install these in your house. Battery storage has come a very long way. Let's start with the very first storage option and work our way up to the very latest options you have available. <laughs> you might be familiar with this guy. You may or may not know the lead acid batteries. This is a true golden oldie. Uh, they were invented way back when. Probably around the times where your grandma was rocking the cha cha cha, -cha at the local disco. <laughs> okay, so the old generation of these batteries, because this is kind of like a modern one, uh, you had to literally top up the water of these guys so that they didn't blow up because a lot of gas gets released out of these guys. So when you buy a modern one, you don't have to worry about that. And I don't know about you, but what comes to mind is acid. And you can just imagine tipping some water in here and getting some acid on your face. So aren't you thankful that you don't live in those days and you now live in the modern era where you have lithium ion batteries? pretty much no maintenance and onboard computing. So let's start with these rack mounted batteries. They come in different sizes, as you can see. They look a bit like servers. Now, what I like about these guys is that you can, you can just take them and, and put them on the table and connect them and you're good to go. Thanks to the design of these batteries, uh, they fit nicely in cabinets such as this one. Uh, these cabinets come in a couple of different colors. My personal preference is the black one. And these are perfect for if you want to scale over time. So you can buy one or two, put them in the cabinet, and then you can add and slot new ones in as you go. They do take a little bit of a footprint, roughly about a square meter in your garage. So if that is not a problem for you, then this is a great option. Uh, the pros for these, it's a great scalable option. It's affordable. And the cons, well, it looks like a server cabinet. So next up, I'm going to talk about the wall mounted options. Uh, my personal favorite, and they are far more aesthetically pleasing. They're very compact, so they are stored on the wall out the way. Now, uh, these come in various sizes, and they are perfect for those who have limited space in their home. Here we have a 4.8 kilowatt option, and here we have a 9.6 kilowatt hour option. Now you can see this guy, he's very big. Um, he can be mounted on the floor. There's a saddle which you can mount it on, so just above the floor, um, but you can also mount this on the wall as well. So some of the great points uh, on these types of batteries is that they, again, very modern looking, uh, they're scalable, uh, they're very robust as well. They come in different specs as well, so make sure you take a look at that. Uh, but overall, a fantastic battery. So finally, this brings us to the Alpha and it is called Alpha as well. Uh, a very heavy battery. It's, I would love to show you a bigger, a bigger view of this, but it was extremely heavy just to put it on this box. Now this particular one is a 10.1 kilowatt hour battery. It's pretty compact. Um, and if you can notice the difference, is gonna be a 9.6 and this is a 10.1. You can see how compact it really is. This is a floor mounted option. It's one of the only floor mounted options we have on the market today. Very competitively priced and a great spec battery. Perfect for a large household. So if you need that kind of power, this is the one I would recommend. In conclusion, guys, there are some great options. As you can see, we've got, we've never had so many options in the studio. And I must say, it took a bit of sweat to move them about. Um, my personal favorites are obviously the wall mounted options. But of course, this is completely up to you and how you need to store your solar batteries. I really hope this video has given you some value and given you a direction in which to choose your next solar battery. So I hope you really enjoyed this video, guys. As always, if you've got any questions, please comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. So I didn't say anything about that in the last one. No. Server cabinets? No, man, that is not right. Now... Why do I keep doing that? <laughs>